I want to make this video talking about hotkeys in the Interactive Brokers platform Trader Workstation. So let's get right to it here. Hotkeys are absolutely essential if you are a short term trader and hotkeys just work great in general for speeding up tasks and that's it. So on top of hotkeys, there are also macros. Now we'll get into that a little bit later in this video, but there's a couple of annoying features in Trader Workstation that I have set up macros to get around, okay? And I'll tell you later what they are if you stick around to the later of the video. So that's gonna be the little bonus. So step one is how to use hotkeys in Trader Workstation and how do they how to set them up basically. So it's very simple. Now, <clears throat> the first thing you need to be aware of is that if you go to the general configuration menu here and you click on hotkeys here, you need to be aware that the hotkeys you set up here will not work if you are clicked on a chart. If you are trading off of a chart, you need to set your hotkeys in the chart trader hotkeys. That is absolutely essential. If you set them here in the general configuration, they're only going to work if you're clicked on a random area in interactive brokers, okay? That's one of the most important things you need to be aware of. Now, so let's assume that you're a short-term trader and you are looking to set your hotkeys up. You want to trade off of your charts, okay? So you click on the chart and the first thing you do to bring up your hotkey menu is control plus the button H, control H. And you can see it brings up the list of all the hotkeys there. Now, if you want to see your menu for your hotkeys, you just need to simply press control H another time. There you go. Now we're in the menu. At this point, you can see we are in the men general configuration, but under chart trader hot. Also be aware that you can set hotkeys for other windows in trader workstation. For example, if you trade off of the book trader or the market depth, basically trading off the order flow book, then you need to set your hotkeys in those individual menus themselves. Okay, so this is going to apply to the chart trader hotkeys. So let's get right to it. So here you can see all of the possible actions that you are able to set as hotkeys under create orders, modify orders, cancel orders, tools, activity monitoring, analysis, etc. Okay. So I'm going to briefly show you how to create a hotkey, first of all, and how to customize it the way you need it. So create a buy order, you click here on buy, and then you want to click on the right side here, create shortcut. So at this point, it will bring up the configure hotkey button. And now you can choose how you want to trigger this action. Is it going to be with a keyboard button or is it going to be with a mouse button? So there you go. So let's say you, you figure it out which key you want, you click on record, then you press the key function, it could be like shift B or etc. And then it will set it to that. Okay. Now, once you've set your key, then you have to customize your your command to do what you want to do. So if you want to set a buy order, you need to be specific as to what kind of buy order. Is it going to be a limit order, a market order, a stop order, or any of the other extra order types that IB has? And you also need to specify if there's going to be an algo order associated with this hotkey, okay? You can also attach target profit takers and stop orders. So for example, you can create a buy order that simultaneously once it gets filled, also sets up a stop order at a certain price below or above where you got filled. Let's say you wanted to set up a buy order, a limit. Now you can choose an offset. For example, you can choose to buy limit at the ask or buy limit at the bid or default, which will be whatever you have set up in your order presets window in the general configuration. So keep in mind that is also important here in presets. Whatever you set there is going to be your default setting. So if you choose default, it's going to default to whatever you have in your presets. Okay. Let's say you want to set a limit order to buy at the bid minus five ticks. That's an example bid. You go bid right here. And now on this right menu, you can choose either amount or percent or ticks. Let's say ticks. I will choose and I will type minus five. That's it. So now this order is going to submit a buy limit order at the bid minus five ticks. So if the bid is $10, it's going to submit a bid at 995. Does that make sense? Cool. There's also these algos here that you can program. You can choose to select the routing of the order or if there is going to be a specific algo associated with your order type. So we'll get into that. And I think that's a topic for another video, actually. So this is just talking about how to set the hotkeys themselves. The last thing you need to be aware of is here where you can check the box to transmit the order instantaneously. If you check this box, as soon as you press the hotkey, the order will be live to the market. 
If you do not check that box, your order will appear in your order window and you will need to press another button to transmit it. So you can set another hotkey to transmit your order, okay? All right, so that covers how to set a hotkey. So let's just go over briefly which I think are the most important things that you need to absolutely set up. So you definitely need to set up a hotkey for some sort of buy, some sort of sell, and some hotkeys to transmit your order if you didn't choose to transmit it automatically. You need to set a hotkey to cancel your available orders. You definitely need hotkeys to move up and down your limit price, and you need hotkeys to move up and down your size of the order, okay? One thing I wanna just bring up real quick is that in the cancel order function, there's two of them. There's, a, there's an order that you can do for cancel all orders, and then there's the cancel contracts orders. So I would prefer to choose the cancel contracts orders and let me tell you why. So let's say you have two or three positions on simultaneously and you have a stop order in the market. So let's say I set a stop order here, sell stop, and now on a completely different instrument, let's say, so that was on Roku, completely different instrument, I have a buy order set up here and I wanna buy it. Both these orders are live at the market. Let's say I wanna cancel one order, if I have my hotkey set to cancel the contracts uh, orders, it will not cancel my order I put on Roku, it will simply cancel the order of the chart that I'm clicked on. So if I choose cancel now, you can see that my Roku order is still live there. So if you had it set to cancel all orders, it will in fact cancel all of your orders. So keep in mind, okay? All right guys, so I actually wanna talk about a couple of features in Trader Workstation that I wish existed. And since they don't exist, I've actually programmed macros to make them work for me instantaneously. The first one is being able to turn on and off extended hours really fast. Now, in order to turn on and off extended hours on your chart, you need to go to edit, chart parameters, show data outside of regular trading hours, then hit okay. Now, I find that super annoying, especially in the morning when I'm looking at what's happening pre-market and I have to constantly shift that on and off because as you can see, when extended hours are on on the chart, the chart kind of looks kind of messy in general, okay? So I've created a macro using this software here, Pullovers Macro Creator, and I've created a number of macros actually. So let's take a look at what this is. So I do Shift E, and it goes into the menu and does it for me. Tell me that's not magic. Look, no extended hours, no more extended hours. Pretty cool, eh? Another feature that I wish you could hotkey in Trader Workstation is to set alerts. There's no hotkey to set alerts. You cannot program setting alerts to a hotkey. So again, I programmed a macro to do that. So I set it to Shift A. As you can see, as soon as I hit that button, it clicks on this alert right here and I can set alerts. So that's pretty quickly. Shift A right there and it works. You see, pretty close, pretty cool. A couple other macros I have set up are for TradingView. So for example, I do use TradingView on my other monitor here, and I often open up multiple tabs at once. So if I wanna open up say six or seven tabs, and I don't want to always right click, duplicate tab, and then do it, I just set a hotkey to open up a tab of TradingView on my chart. So basically it pulls up the URL of that I selected. So basically you can choose any URL and it will link to that, okay? Another hotkey I invented that doesn't exist in TradingView is to remove the drawings. So let's say you have a lot of lines on your chart and you wanna get rid of them all, you need to set a hotkey for that. So I did that and as you can see, I just press one key and then I'll just go straight to the garbage can to remove all of those lines. So let's do it one more time. One button and they're all gone. Pretty cool, right? So there you go, guys. All right, so I'll just briefly run through all of my hotkeys with you, and I wanna show you my keyboard. So I've organized my hotkeys in a way where my left hand can perform pretty much every single hotkey that I have set up on its own. So my right hand can remain on the mouse doing whatever it needs to do. So let's just go through them real quick. I have a couple of buttons on the side of my keyboard here that I've programmed some things to do. So this one down here, if I press this, it brings up my options chain, which is pretty convenient so I don't have to actually do alt tab every time and go to the options chain. I just press that button and it gets my options chain going right away. Again, I programmed that using the pullover macro software. Okay, so let's get into Trader Workstation here. Different orders I have set up. So all in my left hand here, I have sell limit, buy limit, cancel order, that would be shift C. 
Now I have stop orders just in case would be shift Q and shift W would be buy sell and stop sell. And obviously I have the back quote and number one button set to move the limit orders price. So you can see buy limit, I can move down the limit or up the limit price, you can see. And so my market orders are set up with the IB's adaptive algo order. And we'll talk about that in a separate video, okay? So basically shift B is going to set up a buy market adaptive order. Shift S is going to set up a sell market adaptive order. Now, depending on the circumstances, I might choose to use those orders. I also have control B set to a more aggressive market adaptive order, which will essentially uh, look to get in as fast as possible in that case. And I have the same thing set to control S. So those are just some of my hotkeys. So I have it set up that I need to do a transmit in order for my orders to hit the market. So I can have as many orders as I want set up, but none of them will be transmitted until I do my hotkey, which would be shift T for transmit those orders. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have set up guys. Again, I love the thing that I did here with the go into the menu and get rid of extended hours trading. So guys, just again, control H brings you into your hockey menu and you can set up whatever you like. Lastly, I've also set up a hotkey to bring up the message center in, in IB. The message center is basically when you contact customer service and stuff, which I set it to shift M. And as you can see, it brings that up right away. So that's pretty cool, guys. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it. And I will see you in the next video talking about more technical fun stuff. Cheers. Enjoy yourselves. Bye.